we're now going to look at gypsum. So there's a lot of information there. You've probably heard of the term gypsum before. What is actually going on? How do you use it? So now we're going to do the gypsum test. So you just have a glass of water, clean water. And then what you do is you carefully add some soil in there, just to the bottom, like that. Okay, try not to disturb it too much. And then what you do is you grab some gypsum, okay, and you put that in too, and just let that settle. And I will just let that settle overnight. Now, if it if that water goes a really clear kind of look to it, then the gypsum is interacting with the soil and probably won't break it up as much. However, if it stays really cloudy like that, this is overnight when you look at it in the morning, then you know that it will be a good thing to use on your soil. So what I've done, I've actually done this test on my own soil. This is overnight and you can still see it's still a bit cloudy. So that will indicate that yes, it will have some effect on my soil and help break it up. Because remember, you don't want that compacted soil. You want it a bit more broken up. Others might have a more of a cloudy look to it. And it means it's just getting in to those tiny little parts or particles. Um, it works on electrical charge and sort of attracts some of the soil particles and breaks them up. Um, it's really good stuff to use, but only if you start to see this cloudy look to the soil. I recommend doing this first before you start putting piles of gypsum on your clay soil. So it's a very easy test to do, and that way you can tell. Thanks for watching how to improve your soil and learning a bit more about the type of soil that you have. There are plenty of other how-to gardening videos on the Save Our Citrus site. And if you want to get in contact with me at Blue Bee Garden Design, it's info at bluebeegardendesign.com.au. I'd love to hear from you, hear your ideas, and please get in touch. Thank you.